Hello and welcome you all. So today I'll be talking about the tooth or in plural form the teeth. So this is an introductory lecture. Whenever we look at the one's face, the first thing we notice are their teeth. Okay, uh, and whenever we look inside a person's mouth, we notice that the teeth occupy almost 20% of the entire surface area of your mouth. The rest of the surface area is occupied by your tongue, your palate and the rest of your structures in your oral cavity. The upper jaw occupies more space than your lower jaw. This is a natural thing that the upper jaw uh, is larger and the upper teeth occupy more space than your lower teeth. When we talk about the function that our teeth perform, then there are three important functions. First one is a very common one that we all know, our masticatory function, uh, the chewing function. This is the most important function of our tooth. Uh, the second function is speech. Uh, many people tend to neglect this function simply because we don't know the role our teeth plays in the speech. And most people think that our voice box and our tongue are the main players uh, in sound production. Well, that is true, but our teeth uh, does a very important job in channeling the air that comes out of our mouth. Very evident example you can see in a very old age person, uh, even though he has a very intact voice box, he may have an intact tongue, but even though we cannot understand his speech, his words, uh, simply because he doesn't have teeth inside his oral cavity and once he gets a tincture, we simply understand what he's saying. Uh, this is a prime example of why our teeth are important in our speech. The third function that our teeth performs is aesthetics. The reason why I kept it on third place is because uh, the first two functions are really important of the teeth and the third function is only necessary for young people. If you ask an old person that uh, does he want his teeth for, for the purpose of aesthetics, so he will clearly say that no, he wants it for mastication and for speech. So aesthetics is important for younger generation and for middle aged people, but not so much for the old age people. So externally, we have two sets of teeth. First are our sets of primary teeth that are 20 in number. Then we have permanent teeth that are 32 in number, mostly 32 in number, but it can range from 28 to 32. Primary teeth once lost, they are replaced by permanent teeth, but permanent teeth once lost, they cannot be replaced and there is no succeeding teeth for our permanent teeth. Therefore, in dentistry, preserving these permanent teeth is, is our main goal to achieve a lifelong natural teeth. There are two components of a teeth. When we look at externally, there is a crown, which is visible when we look uh, inside an oral cavity. And then there is the root, which is not visible to the naked eye because it is embedded in the socket inside our gums. So there are basically two portions, the crown, the portion which is visible to us and the root, which is the portion which is not visible to us. So this is just a brief external structure. I'll be covering this topic more in detail in the next lecture. When we look at the internal structure of our teeth, there are four major components that we need to remember. Our first is our enamel, the outermost layer, the layer which we see first. The second layer is the dentine, the layer beneath the, the enamel. The third layer is the pulp, the innermost layer. And the final layer is the cementum covering the root. So I'm going to briefly discuss each of these. First, we'll discuss the enamel. One thing we often mistake is that enamel is not white in color. It is actually translucent. It refracts the internal structure of dentine. So it is actually translucent, glass-like in nature. Secondly, it is a highly mineralized structure, about 96% inorganic component. It is the hardest natural substance in our body and it is even stronger than our bone. Being highly mineralized and 96% inorganic, it is brittle in nature and will break and can crack. One thing you want to remember is that enamel has no regenerative capabilities. Once it is gone, it will not regenerate itself. The cells which form enamel are known as ameloblasts. So the next topic is dentine. So dentine is also a mineralized structure. It makes up the bulk of our tooth uh, and it provides support to the brittle enamel. Without it, the enamel will uh, just chip off. So that's why dentine provides support to the enamel. Secondly, it is not brittle in nature. It is elastic in nature, not like enamel. Enamel is a brittle in nature, but dentine is elastic in nature. That's why it provides support to our enamel. It is slightly whitish to yellowish in color, mostly yellowish, uh, but it can be whitish depending on the person to person. This is the reason why our teeth appear either yellow or either white. It is because the color of dentine is refracted through enamel. The formative cells of dentine are known as odontoblasts. One important thing to remember is that dentine has repair and regenerative capabilities but it is not vascularized. Even though dentine can regenerate itself, still it doesn't have vascularization. So next we will be covering the pulp. The pulp is the innermost connective tissue of the tooth. It is a soft connective tissue filled with nerves, blood vessels and receptors. So when we talk about the function that our pulp plays in the vitality of the tooth, there are four main functions that a that pulp performs. First important function is the formative function. There are stem cells like odontoblast, fibroblast and other stem cells found inside the pulp. Odontoblast helps in formation of dentine. Therefore, a pulp has an important formative function. Next important function that a pulp has to play is nutritive function. Like I mentioned, the dentine is an avascular substance. So, so the nutrition to the dentine is provided 
through pulp from the blood vessels that it carries. Third important function is protection. Like I mentioned that there are nerves and receptors inside the pulp so it can give stimulus to any pain, pressure or any other external stress that our teeth encounters. Our last function is a regenerative and reparative function. Like I mentioned the odontoblast house inside the pulp therefore uh, it plays an important role in the regeneration of dentine. So just to summarize we have three important components of a teeth. The first one is the enamel which is hardest natural substance brittle but it is translucent. Second one is the dentine which makes up the bulk of our tooth. Uh, it supports the brittle enamel. It is not vascularized, but it has regenerative and reparative capabilities. The last is the pulp, which is the innermost soft connected tissue. It houses our stem cells, nerves, and blood vessels and helps in regeneration of dentine. Now, there is a term known as the tooth proper. In the tooth proper, we include two important structures that is the enamel and dentine, not the pulp. The reason why I'm mentioning the tooth proper term is because it is a very important BCQ question. Most often, it is asked what is meant by tooth proper and which structures are included in the tooth proper. So, there are two important structures enamel and dentine the pulp is not included in the tooth proper so there is another structure which I did not mention in the discussion but uh, it still holds value that is the cementum I'll be discussing this topic more in detail but just briefly cementum is also a mineralized structure it covers the root of the tooth just like uh, enamel covers the crown cementum covers the root of the tooth outside the dentine it resembles bone the most out of enamel or dentine uh, but the only main difference between bone and cementum is that the bone is vascularized while cementum is not vascularized just like dentine and enamel. So I'll be covering this topic cementum in more detail in my subsequent lectures. This is just an introductory lecture to the tooth uh, and an introduction to oral biology. I'll be covering more topics of dentinogenesis or enamelogenesis. I'll be covering these topics in more detail in the future and the rest of the other topics. I hope you all like my video. Please take care of yourselves. Goodbye.